Brad's pulling the bolts off to pull the flywheel off now. It can be sometimes a little stubborn to come out. Injection pump, so it's uh, top dead center number one. Don't try this at home. Uh, Brad's working away at uh, trying to get the front cover off now. Um, they can be stubborn too. It's probably been on there since new, so it'll be a little tight to get off. Oh, I know what it is. Someone's replaced the front crankshaft seal at one time and it's got a wear ring on the outside. It's got a lip, so I'm trying to pry the uh, seal over top of the lip here that lip it's got a new style seal in here it's like a dust cover There's still a wear sleeve on here that we have to take off. We can do that once the crankshaft's out. What's that? You just passed the buck, right? Yeah. So it's a good thing you took this apart. The thrust plate's uh, broken for the idler gear. Oh yeah? What's that? What's broke? Retaining plate broke Ooh. off here. Must be in the pan. That could have did a bit of damage. Wow. You pay for what you get. <laughs> this is broke off right here, so I imagine this part here, this part here fell right down into the oil pan. But we can see the part number, so it's easy to order. That's right. <laughs> now, how would have that broken, Brad? Over tightened? Just, yeah, could have cracked it whenever they tightened the bolt here. It's cracked here, too. It's probably over torqued. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, what would have been the proper setting? For that torque, for the bolt, about 35 foot pounds. That's it. Loctite on it? Yep, or? Loctite on them. Huh. What's next is I'm going to pull the accessory drive gear off and I'm going to pull the idler gear off so I can take the timing gear plate off because it's leaking. That's where the oil leak started was between this plate and the block. This gasket was leaking. Before we took it apart, I came down and we ran the engine and I checked for oil leaks and it was coming down this joint right here. 
You can see it's all been at the highest point here. All the oil has been going down and going this way. Basically, we want to reseal this whole engine because we don't want any oil leaks after we're done. So where do you think that bit's gone to? In the oil pan. Probably fell right down in the front sump area. And do you think we're going to find it intact? Or is it just going to be chewed up? No, it should be all in one piece. Now, would it, could it potentially cause damage down there? Yep, it could get caught up in the oil pump drive gear. There's magnets in the bottom of the oil pan. We're hoping it got stuck to one of the magnets. Could have been down there since the last uh, in-frame. We don't know. In order to get this timing gear plate off, we have to pull the camshaft out to get at the bolts and have enough access to swing the plate out of the way. So we're going to pull the lifters out and then we're going to pull our camshaft out. There's just a lifter clip that's in. They go down in and hold the lifter from turning in its bore because they're a roller type lifter, as you can see. And if they turn in the bore, they damage the camshaft. Phil, I guess we'll just have to use a chain. Uh, 7 16 bolt here and a 3 8 bolt back here. These are uh, stovers, eh? They're, oh no. They look like it was a stover. Good. That's good. That's good. Did you drain the oil out of this? Yep. Okay. If you do go underneath and it falls, just yell. Well, I'm not going underneath. Safety first. Here's that uh, thrust plate for the idler gear, and there's the magnet. It's stuck right to the magnet, so it's all in one piece too. So it didn't do any more damage. That's a good thing. So this is all the oil that uh, Phil drained, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> now I'll pick up. I'll take off the pickup tube and the uh, oil feed. Hopefully, I won't get any oil all over the place. This pl I want to pull off this plate, and it it's fairly heavy. <clears throat> Freaking glued on. Okay. All right, we'll just set it on top of the oil pan here. Or right across the top here. We're trying to stand the engine up for we could pull out the cylinder packs. Which way did that slide? Oh, just a loop swung around. Okay, hold just a sec. OK, 
Okay, downfill. Whoa. Now can you just drive ahead? No way. Shit. I said this looks really jumpy. Whoops. I'll back up again. Okay, come ahead a bit. Whoa. Down. Whoa. Okay, down. Whoa. Okay. Ahead? Yeah, come ahead a bit. Well, do I have to let it down a bit? Well, yeah. Am I already in the blocks? Let me just uh, take a look. Yeah. Can you come down? Well, the chain's really tight, eh? Okay, we'll hold it there and I'll just... That's good. 